right, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Let's learn the tune Chief O'Neill's favorite. It's an Irish hornpipe, and so it's got a little swingy feel to it. And um, I'm just going to play the whole thing, and then we're going to learn it in a step-by-step -step fashion. After that, note by note, phrase by phrase, slowly building it up. It's got a lot of repetition, I'll add, and so if you get the A part of it down, the B part borrows a lot from the A part, so you're well on your way if you get even just the A part. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do it two A's, two B's, so you get a chance to really listen. Sweet melody. Chief O'Neill's favorite. Chief O'Neill was a police chief, an Irish American living in Chicago, turn of the century, I think, or maybe a little earlier. And uh, he collected tons of these Irish tunes. And anybody who came over from Ireland, well, there were a lot of immigrants, I guess, and anybody who came over who knew some tunes, maybe on the tin whistle, they got to join the police force. That was all it took to join the police force back then. You had to know some Irish tunes that he didn't know. He collected them and made a big old book of them. O'Neill's music. I think there's different collections. And uh, so he did a great service to the music. And uh, I don't normally do this kind of thing, talk about this stuff, but I, I think it's interesting. And, and it caused a big revival of Irish music and culture here. And I think it reinvigorated it in Ireland where it got people more interested in it back home. Okay, so let's do the tune. Starting with the first quarter. By the way, the tune is in D major. You might want to warm up with that a little bit. Give you a finger view here. Okay, and just warm up more on your own with D major. Starts first on E string. Okay, actually it's backtrack to the D scale. I suggest you do this melodic variation for this tune as a warm-up. I call it skip a step or thirds or one three pattern and I'll put a link to how to play it below. But basically we're skipping a step as we go up a scale. And then backwards. And so I would rewind or, you, or even go to the link below and really try to learn that because it'll help a lot with this tune. And in general, seeing how the tunes are related to scales and vice versa is really useful. You know, then we, you know that basically the, the sc scales aren't just something that music teachers did to torture students with. It's something really can be something really cool if you see the relationship with tunes and how they can help you with tunes and how they're tunes are constructed from scales. I think it becomes, then the scales become really interesting, at least to me, Mr. Fiddle Nerd. So, okay, well, let's get to our tune. So we start with first on E. 
one open one low two. I'm gonna do the pickup in a bit, not yet. And then we're gonna do uh, that pattern I showed you in the beginning, but descending, starting on E3. We're gonna, I'm just gonna play it once. It's simply that skip a step pattern but going down from E3. So we're gonna go E3, E1, low two, open, one, a3, E, 2. By the way, all fingerings, all fiddle tabs are in the comment field below. And then after that, so that pattern really goes down on with five repetitions walking down. One, two, three, The last number is four I've. <laughs> I just think it's so cool to see that, that what that's going on there. Um, it's it's just a D scale with that pattern. All right, and but it makes for a really nice melody. So the, we started it with. So we started with, and then that thing going down. Let's do this, maybe loop it twice in a row. Loop it. Oh, here we go. Again. Okay, good, good. Now we're just gonna learn the pickup to that. So the pickup is two notes that starts right before that at the beginning of the A part. Three on A to open E. So I'm going to count in three and then do the pickup into the first quarter. One, two, and three, and four, and one. A little slower. One, and two, and three, and Excellent. Now that's the first quarter and the third quarter, and it's also used in the B part. So it's a really useful thing to get down really well. I suggest pausing, mastering that little bit, because if you do, you're kind of on the downhill slide. It's not downhill slide, but you're, you're already almost done with the tune in a way. All right, so second quarter, let's move on. Starts D2. Two, two, one, two, three, open A one. Followed by low two on A, this next bit. Low two, open, three, low two, open, all on A. Good, putting together the second quarter, starting D two. Let's do the first half, putting together the two quarters. If either of those are unclear, go rewind and watch them again. With the pickup, one, two, three, and. Excellent. Let's move on. Third quarter, same as the first. Fourth quarter, starting D2. So let's break that down a little bit. Um, 
two, two open on D, two, two open, three, and then A1 open, D3, two open, open. Listen to it again. Once more. do the entire A part with the pickup. One and two and three and Good, okay, let's move on. Now the B part, the second half of the B part is the same as the second half of the A part. It's just this. So we just have to get the first half of the B part, then we know the entire B part. We have all the pieces, okay? So I'm gonna play the first half of the B part and then break it down with the pickup. One, two, three. All right. Even in there, there's some things you've already done. Um, the end of it is also the end of the second half of the A part. So anyway, let's just do it. So we're switching to the key of F. Um, you might, if you know the F major scale, it's a great time to practice it. You don't really need to use that low two on E in this tune, but it's kind of nice to get the, get it in your ear. So if you do know low, sorry, low one on E and low one on A, if you do know the F major scale, do it. If you want to learn it, I'll put a link to it below. Um, otherwise, uh, Let's just move on and learn it. You don't need to really practice that, but I think it's a good idea. Um, so this tune starts low two on D, which is F. I know that sounds confusing. Um, starting with. So low two, low two one, low two three, open A one. Good. Again. And then. Let's break that down. Low two, so on, on A string, low two, open. Three, one. Low two, one, open, D three. A string except for the last note. So the whole first quarter of the B part. Again. Good, now let's do the pickup to this. So again, it's two notes starting on beat four, and the notes, the pickup notes are open one on D. Listen to how it works, counting in three. One, two, and three, and four, and Okay. Let's move on. If you didn't get that, go back, rewind, pause, or listen to it. All right. So the second quarter of the B part starts like this. So open A, A3, then open E. And then E1. 
And E1 to A3, E open to A3. And then low two on A. Well, we already did that piece, so, right, I think? We did, yeah, we did it. And the end of the. So the whole second quarter of the B part. Let's do that again. Okay, now let's do the entire first half of the B part with a pickup. One. And two, and three, and... Then we'd go into, um, we'd basically repeat the second half of the A part to create the second half of the B part. now do the entire B part with the pickup, okay? One and two and three and... any of those parts just rewind listen to them again you can, even if you think you know the whole tune and can make it all the way through you can always do loop practice on small phrases to make them sound better and uh, the last thing I'll say is that you I will eventually have a play along track linked below where you can go and listen to this and play along with it um, I'll also have um, an advanced version which adds variation and embellishments um, kind of in an Irish style. So anyway, uh, that was fun for me and I hope it was for you too. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching my video. Excellent.